uh, big question I get is uh, what you know what happens or what, what's the difference between age related changes and dementia we'll talk a little bit more about that but you know the, the, the brain changes as we as we get older um, we all know that we you know it's we take that for granted just like our muscles change our ability to run a hundred yard dash uh, slows down uh, as we get older we don't run it as fast as we did was when we were 20 and the same thing in terms of our processing our, our cognitive uh, 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 functions they tend to slow down a little bit so these are things that we see and we're able to measure um, in terms of our cognitive function so we tend to see slower retrieval so a little bit uh, slower coming up with the right word or remembering that name um, uh, so the tip, basically we call this the tip of the tongue syndrome uh, we see that much more commonly as we get older we all have it our whole life uh, but it becomes much more common as we get older and I hear about that uh, almost every day from people that we're interacting with um, they're always bringing that up and you know it's the everybody can relate to it it's the you want that word in the middle of a conversation and the moment passes and then two minutes later boom it pops into your head uh, or it wakes you up in the middle of the night that name that you were searching for so that's not a sign of Alzheimer's disease that's normal everyday aging we see that as people get older we also see declines in working memory. Um, so the ability to hold information in your head for a few minutes and then act on it. And the classic example is you look a phone number up, you go find the phone and you dial it. So you hold that phone number in your head. Uh, so the efficiency of that type of memory, working memory, declines as we get older. And then slower processing. Things slow down a little bit. But accuracy we don't expect accuracy to change. We don't expect intelligence to change. And we, we don't expect things, uh, the, these types of changes to interfere with daily function. So that's the key. That's the difference between aging and, and dementia. It's we don't see problems in daily function. So the things that somebody's always accustomed to doing, uh, they're still able to do despite being older. Um, when we start seeing problems in doing those things like balancing the checkbook, finding their way through town, getting to the grocery store and remembering everything or following their list. When, when we're starting to see problems in those areas, that's when we get worried about dementia. Um, and then I like to point out it's not all, not all downhill. Co you know, cognitive function changes as we get older, but not all of it does. So when we break it up into different domains, one domain, vocabulary, gets better as we get older. Um, so there's some, there's some improvements that we see across the, across the lifespan.